Hey everyone, it's Voss, and welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel, where I have actually good news for the first time in a while, as you know, GPU mining profits have been down lately. But now, I've got something to tell you that is going to be kind of like a ray of hope, and you're wondering, well, why? How is GPU mining going to become more profitable in the near future? And then, uh, uh, Miss Vosk is also asking, why is there a GPU mining rig in the bathroom again? <laughs> Find out more on this episode of Oscoin. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is a bit of a follow-up on my recent video, ASIC Miners Destroy GPU Mining, which had a pretty mixed response, which I'll get to at the uh, end, towards the end of the video. But let's talk about it. So GPU mining has very good news, basically. And I'm gonna explain exactly what that is and why. So we look at the Monero difficulty chart. So this is one month, we'll go three months, and we can see it's had a very sharp incline, right? So it's pretty sharp increase. The price has been you know, relatively stagnant. There was especially a big jump here when prices went down. And across the board, all GPU mining difficulty is going up. So if you're not familiar, difficulty basically means it's harder to get that coin. There's more people vying for it. Everybody wants a piece of the pie, which means there's more mouths to feed. This would be the network hash rate. Again, we got one month, we got three months. And you can see, obviously this is gonna correspond with the difficulty, but the, the hash rate's high. So I was on Twitter, and I was kind of doing my normal thing, just being really nice. Uh, I was talking about how great ASICs are. I mean, look, Inno Miner, they put out one of the best ASIC miners ever. They charge people $10,000, and a lot of them caught on fire. I mean, dude, wouldn't you pay $10,000 to have a piece of machine that catches on fire in your house, potentially risking everything in your life that you ever worked for, including your friends, family, and anything else? I mean, yeah, yes, send me an A5 Inno, please. But anyway, I digress. Um, so I tweeted him and surprisingly, you know, I'm just a little dude on Twitter. He tweeted me back and he said, it's already set for 13 days time. Okay. So we look at the time snip. This is March 15, 1132 AM. So, you know, it's about that time. It's almost there. So this is really exciting news. And I want to touch on why ASICs are basically the devil and everyone who disagrees with me. I'm going to explain to you again and again why you're wrong if you disagree that ASICs are not the devil. Okay, It's not just the ASIC miner, like the whole premise. It's the players who create these ASIC miners. So for example, let's go over here to Bicle Miner. So they released this. They were the first one to release it, Bicle Giant N, and even on Twitter they originally said that it was going to mine Monero. Okay, so this is like 10 Vegas. So that's a pretty big deal. It's 60 watts, insane, right? You're like, oh wow, what a breakthrough in mining. No, you don't want breakthroughs in mining when they're from companies like this. They control all the power. And guess what? They've been mining with this for at least a couple months. Let's not be naive here because they released this and uh, no surprise, Bitmain releases their kryptonite miner that does, you know, this is 220 kill hash. They, I think they have a different model too. And the original price tag was put at $10,000. 10,000 or it might have been even more like 12k which is insane and you just think that oh they oh man oh you had one too i guess so we should release ours i mean come on man open your eyes open your eyes a6 are bad news oh whoa oh my god another one another one how long mining how long till we ever see a real one of these <laughs> come on that's funny right maybe maybe not i didn't plan that okay i don't script my videos so that's why they kind of they're not the best sometimes but let's look at it so we got this dragon Mint x1 124 kilash a second it's delivered in april one thousand six hundred dollars first you're like Wow, what a money-making machine. No, that's not how ASICs work. But the best news of everything ever created ever before is this. See, this is someone standing up against the ASIC companies. And if you don't do that, and if we don't do that, and you know, if, if I need to be the voice here, then I'll be the voice. But if, if we don't stand up against these ASIC companies, then they're gonna take over. Bitmain will be the worldwide cryptocurrency monopoly. And whoever creates these miners controls. They absolutely control or will control these currencies. Who do you honestly think controls Bitcoin and Litecoin with the Antminer S9 and the, the uh, Antminer L3 Plus? I mean, come on, think about it. Who, who's got the most here? Who accepted those currencies for that? Then there's the creation of Bitcoin Cash, which is that that is like a whole series in itself. But my point of this video is I want to basically have a breath of fresh air, a ray of hope for us GPU miners. Because 
you know, it's been it's been tough lately. A lot of coins have dropped in price. Uh, I know Zencash plummeted, which obviously hurt me. Um, a lot of people have been asking me. Yeah, I'm still mining Zencash. It's a great time to mine it now. It's lower, so I'm getting a little bit more Zen. I'm hoping it rebounds. If not, I'm totally screwed. But again, you know, you got to place your bets wherever you want to. You could mine the almighty boring Zcash if you want, but um, yeah. So we come over here in my crypto buddy. It's kind of like what to mine with less uh, features, but it's a uh, it's a nice layout. It's a little cleaner. It doesn't stress me out as much. But, uh, so, you know, I put the 20 kilo hash, which will be the first kryptonite miner that was published, which would be the Bicol version. And you can see, I mean, it looks like a decent buy, you know, 100 bucks a week. It's not bad, especially in this market. But yeah, but this isn't going to happen because Monero, if we look at this uh, hash rate, so they've got about 900 mega hash, giga hash of the hash rate, okay? So when they fork off, they are the vast majority. They are over 70% of the hash rate on kryptonite so these miners will lose 70 percent of their profitability but just wait i assure you that some freaking coin like you know monero super private is going to come out and and it's going to stay in this kryptonite network watch you'll see it'll be something ridiculous like that and they already had that other fork that's taking place anyway list goes on but the point of this is is that this is going to drive vega prices up okay vega prices are going to go up because they're going to be more profitable I, and, and also a lot of the rx cards are going to go back to mining kryptonite so they're going to come off of equihash which is like zcash and zencash and move away from ethereum like ethereum ethereum classic and they're going to back to the kryptonite network mining monero and the other coins will probably follow suit and uh it's going to be pretty obvious the only big one that's a question mark will be electronium they've got a pretty good good chunk of hash rate like 300 mega hash so other than that, they're the only significant coin as far as hash rate goes on the Kryptonite network. So if Kryptonite loses Monero and Electronium, these things are going to be absolutely worthless. So anyway, place your bets wherever you want, but you can support these companies if you want to. On the topic of this, and I think this warrants a video in itself, but you know, I got a comment like this on uh, that Kryptonite video, had this response, and, and you can see there's a clear divide in the community. And... I mean, I'm very strong to one side, and if you believe in something, I mean, you've got your reasons all to it. And when I hate, you know, hate on ASIC mining, I'm not hating on the actual ASIC miner. Like, you know, I don't hate you, man. If you've got an Ant Miner S9, I have had an S9 and L3 Plus. I originally, I didn't totally hate them until I started thinking about it and looking at the bigger picture. And you can see, you know, it's a very heated community. It's like, gamers versus miners like oh you guys all hate us like i mean i don't know what else to tell you man if you can't see the bigger picture of cryptocurrency uh, it might be time to log off the game and do a little research but that's my opinion i'm not trying to be mean i'm a gamer i've got 3,000 hours in dota 2 just in the last several years i mean that's time i'll never get back all right i'm a gamer through and through my whole life so don't think i'm not and it's weird how most miners are also gamers so anyway I don't want to drag this video on and on there's a lot of pieces I could take off this video and really create videos you know in their own right but you can see there's a very divided community here I am strong on one side and I truly believe that and I'm very excited to see the mining probability it'll have to go up these ASICs they are here I would imagine all their stock is basically here in mining and regardless it, it can't get any worse okay the, the, the hash rate will absolutely go down or the difficulty it's the same thing really and uh it's absolutely going to go down and that's exciting that is absolutely exciting so everyone cheer up okay crypto prices are down but we're gonna make it we're gonna make it and if you want to make sure you make it subscribe to the vasco on youtube channel and i'll see you next time